There are five guys hot off the transfer portal who could have a big effect on their new lineup. And at number five is Michael Beard, who transferred from Penn State to Lehigh. The 197 pounder was an All-American in 2021. He actually placed seventh place. But then the following year, he couldn't even make the starting lineup. That's because Max Dean transferred from Cornell to Penn State and took that starting spot. Now, Max Dean did actually wrestle in the 2022 season for a bit. He wrestled at the Southern Scuffle, even made the finals until he had the injury default out. Now, I don't default him on wanting to transfer out to want to get a starting position. I mean, the guy who's starting there at Penn State is a national champion. That's Max Dean. Now he has a chance to go to another school and get back onto the stand and potentially even make the finals. And with Beard transferring into Lehigh, that gives them a big tournament scoring advantage. Like potentially they could be a top 20 team in the NCAA this year. So who could potentially be a more impactful transfer? Let's stop stalling and start talking wrestling. <laughs> What's going on, Fanco Fanatics? My name's Josiah, and welcome to Fanco Wrestling, your source for college wrestling news and discussion. And I want to ask you to help me on a mission to pass Flow Wrestling in subscribers. I want to make Fanco Wrestling the number one wrestling talk show on YouTube, and I can only do that with your help by clicking that subscribe button. Now let's move on to the number four transfer. And this is a guy who's transferring into Michigan at 174 pounds and realistically gives them a chance to compete against Penn State, Iowa, and other top Big Ten teams. I'm talking, of course, about Matt Feinsilver, who transferred from Duke to Michigan. Now, Feinsilver hasn't made the stand yet, but he has made the round of 16 in this previous year. However, we know there's been a mass exodus of seniors, and just a few of those spots can help Feinsilver move up to potentially be an All-American. And at the very least, he's going to help in competing in dual meets. I mean, that's a big spot to fill in Logan Massa leaving, and Fine Silver may be the guy to do it. Michigan has four guys in the top five, and adding Fine Silver into the lineup really makes them a contending team year after year without the big drop-off that a lot of fans were frankly expecting. And the number three impactful transfer is very similar to Fine Silver. In fact, Anthony Montalvo is transferring from Oklahoma State to Arizona State and brings a lot to the lineup. While he hasn't made the stand yet, he's had a lot in his way. In 2020, that was the season he qualified for nationals until the tournament was, of course, shut down. And after that, he'd just been riddled with not being able to start and injuries. Hopefully, this will be another season where he'll have no injury and can continue to compete at a high level. I mean, look back at his 2020 season. He had some big wins over Nino Bonacorsi, over Marcus Coleman. He competed with these top guys and with Arizona State adding him at 184 could really put the Sun Devils in a top two or three in the entire NCAA. Now the next guy is Taylor Lamont who's transferring from Utah Valley to Wisconsin and could have major implications in the Big Ten. I mean Wisconsin is a tough team but adding this former All-American into the lineup is impressive. There is one issue in that Eric Barnett is Wisconsin starting 125 pounder which is Lamont's weight. So he's going to have to bump up to 133 pounds in order to give Wisconsin their best lineup. And at one. 33 is current starter Kyle Berwick, who is a national qualifier, but I think if he has a year sitting out, get some additional training with, I mean, two All-Americans around his training position, I think that's going to do nothing but bolster him for the future. Lamont placed fifth in 2021, but failed to place in 2022. And as he's moving up, that's going to be the question is, how well can he compete against these bigger guys? Of course, there's a lot of guys leaving with this mass exodus of seniors a lot of top talent, so Lamont has a chance to slide in there into All-American position again. And on top of that, it really gives Wisconsin a chance to compete with all of these top-ranked guys in the Big Ten. They are looking scary. And if you haven't guessed the number one most impactful transfer yet, he transferred from Stanford to Iowa at 141 pounds, and that is Real Woods. He was a national placer last year and actually made the semifinals. He lost to Nick Lee, even though he he gave him his closest match of the season, he ended up doing the semi-slide. 
But he's going to benefit because Nick Lee's no longer in the field, and 141, I think, is open to anything happening there. He's a two-time Pac-12 champion, and I think he's only going to improve with the elevated competition in the Big Ten. And on top of that, he's going to give Iowa that secret weapon that they needed with Ironman leaving at 141. Now Woods is in here to give a heavy hit against Penn State in Michigan and Wisconsin and these other Big Ten teams. And of course, with Woods in Iowa's line, lineup, you may be wondering, can Penn State actually compete against them? Well, I put together a lineup preview for the 2023 Nittany Lions. I'll walk you through who's going to be the biggest threats for the team, and you can check that out in this video right here.